Okay, on to the next. This is number two. <coughs> I want you to get a program now, which is a very important one. We're going to open up Safari. And uh, we're going to go to this site here. It's called Mr. Greg, G -R -E -G -G, dot com. <coughs> Type that in. You'll come to this page. It says, are you looking for this? Colorado, yes, you certainly are looking for it. And download the iWeb Sites version uh, 2.1 beta 3 or whatever happens to be up there at the time that you're looking at this. Now, first thing about this guy, wonderful, wonderful programmer. Donate something to him. You've got to get used to donating just a couple of bucks, a few dollars, whatever it is you can afford uh, to help this this guy. He's doing a marathon and uh, he um, needs some donations badly. He's doing a marathon for cancer, I think, or something like that. Kids cancer or, um, look, I don't know what it's about, uh, but I've donated. Get into it. Do it. It's very important. Okay, and, and it's a fantastic program. Okay, let's get rid of this page. Now, I've downloaded it and so have you, let's hope, and there it is there, iWebsites. Now what it does is when you click on it, it opens up this box and it shows you um, your uh, number of sites that you've got. Now you'll probably only have this one test site, um, or whatever you've called it. I've got a number of others. What it does is it allows you, for instance, if I double click on this, it'll open iWeb with that site. It swaps over that domain file to another file. So I can have a multiple number of, uh, of sites. Here's my ugly face and my beautiful duck, uh, for instance, um, and one of the sites that I've been uh, making over you know a while and so forth so so that's um, that's a really good program that allows you to do that it allows you to change it it means the one that you're working on can be um, uh, worked on just on that site alone without blowing up your your file you're not writing over anything uh, every time you open every time you double click on it it opens up the file this is the uh, one for my welcome to pan galactic Mac because we've got that as a name to Galactic Mac and Mac Galactic, so you can get to us through it either of those as well. So get that program because it's a very important part of working with, with iWeb. Now, just a little bit more about iWeb. Let's have a look. Here we are. We'll open it back up again. And it'll open up to the one that we've determined in... Uh, oops. There you are, you see. There's a problem for a start. Um, I'll just quit that again. And we'll open it on the on the test site. Here it is, and we'll make that the default site. And we'll double click on this, and it'll open it. And then we'll quit out of this one. And here we are, back up to our test site. Now, what can we do with it? Well, let's add a page. Very simple, very common Mac thing. There's a plus sign down the bottom. Let's click the plus, and we'll add. We're still in the white template, although you can change templates part of the way through. You can have anything you like; doesn't matter. Uh, we'll do an about me page for instance let's choose that once again there's a thing I've actually used this on my site it's quite a nice template if you don't like bits of it get rid of them it's as simple as that you can uh, for instance that's one whole column but you can get into that column and get rid of that get rid of the photos I don't never been to Yosemite National Park much to my uh, indignation because I would love to. I have been to the Grand Canyon which I was totally blown out about. Uh, favourite songs, you can change yours, whatever. Type in stuff about yourself. It's probably a good idea to have your picture rather than his. So um, what, what should we do? I'll scroll down here and have a look and see what I've got. Um, I've got thousands of photographs on this. So I might actually have uh, my dog. There we are. It's my three dogs. A crazy Australian blue Gila crosses and uh, you see how blue that one is um, very easy to put in and uh, once again the text and so forth is there we're going to do something just slightly different with this we're going to look at the first we've got this photo we've got audio that we could add to it as well and we've got movies as well we'll come back to those later let's just look at the page first of all let's look at the first one which is the site so we've got the site name, we can change the site name here. If you're publishing to uh, a .Mac, and I highly recommend .Mac because a lot of problems that occur with iWeb occur with people who are using it to publish to a GoDaddy site or something like that. Now that doesn't mean that GoDaddy isn't good, they're fantastic, but 
you need to have some um, understanding about publishing what folders are go into and so forth and there are a lot of problems with that if you're using iWeb uh, so you need to, to do to do that you need to publish to a folder rather than publish so this is a, the publish to a folder and then upload that folder using another program so it can be done and I'll probably do a, a thing on it but at the moment really I'm looking at a dot Mac it tells you what your iDisk storage is <coughs> which is rather good um, you can even password protect the site if you want now that's essentially <coughs> apart from publishing to a group we'll ignore that because that's more complex and not necessary that's basically what that one does the next one here which is this particular page looking at this particular page you can once again you can change the name in here you can include this page in the navigation or display the navigation and or display the navigation menu in the page now this may sound strange why wouldn't you include it in the navigation the navigations up here right this is uh, the about me page this is the first page this is the about me page you might want to include it in the navigation or you might not sometimes <coughs> pardon me sometimes it's good to have a page from which you navigate so you might make a page just a blank page and put a series of links through to things on your site I'll give you an example um, I've got uh, four podcasts rather than having uh, all of them sitting up here and cluttering my uh, navigation bar what I do is I have a single page called podcasts you click on that and then I have another page which has all the links to my podcasts internally <coughs> so I don't include those pages when I go to the pages which have my podcasts on them I turn that off so I, that ceases to be see how now it's gone and uh, they still go up on the site but they don't you can't see them in the navigation menu I do however display the navigation menu on every page you can change the uh, size of the pages here the different tops and bottom paddings which is just like a word processor and we might do a bit of that later um, you can change the background for instance you can make it a gradient fill um, there it is there's a gradient fill from one color to another um, and you can choose those by clicking on that that brings up your color and you can use a wheel you know you can change the gradient from green to there that looks quite nice actually I quite like that um, you can change the angle of the gradient you know so that it goes off from one side of the page to the other for instance if I make it go to the left side um, that's what it looks like here uh, that's pretty self-explanatory just play around with it you know and you can have um, the background too to, to change in total so you can you can make the background there like that and have just a color fill um, no color fill and then if you've got no color fill and that's the background then it becomes this absolutely appalling color which I have chosen so play with that okay the most important thing about learning is to play with it that's the way you find out how to do things okay I'll come back to you with the third episode which will take us through to the concept of uh, actually we won't do that one we'll do text and we'll do images <laughs>